Dr. Bethany Corcoran. I'm a PhD student at Stanford University in the Atmosphere Energy Program in the Civil and Environmental Engineering Department. Uh, we're here at the CEMEX Cement Company at the Port of Redwood City installing a 12-foot uh, meteorological tower, which is up shown up here. It's collecting wind speed and direction data. Uh, we hope to collect data for about one to two years. Um, and you can see um, behind me and to the right are uh, views of the San Francisco Bay Area. And on this map, you can um, see a little bit better that this is the Bay Area. Um, and this little yellow pin here shows the CEMEX location in the Bay. And a zoom in shot of that, here's the port of Redwood City along Seaport Boulevard. And we're at the tip of the, of the port where this arrow is, is pointing. This building's about 150 feet tall. Um, so we're able to collect wind speeds at a height approximate to where the height of a, a wind turbine pup would be. Um, so this site was selected because of wind modeling work that was done um, by Mike Dvorak, another member of SWAT and a PhD student in the Atmosphere Energy Program. His uh, model output indicated that this area had the potential for uh, winds that would uh, yield cost-effective large-scale wind energy production. So this site um, is relatively close to Stanford as well, which can help with any sort of outreach um, education programs that, that might be forged in the future. This data logger um, that I'm holding is recording the wind speed and direction. We're, we're going to be collecting the data for one to two years, and that will allow us to analyze the data to determine whether it would be cost-effective to uh, proceed ahead and actually install some wind turbines. Um, this will probably be on the order of, of around one megawatt each. We think this is a promising site is that we get sea breeze here and sea breeze is from the temperature differential between cold ocean water and warming land. And so the sea breeze comes more in the afternoon as the land has heated up. So that's a good thing because it meets the peak electricity load, which is higher, the load is higher in the afternoon than it is other parts of the day. Um, and the sea breeze also is stronger in the summer because the land is heating up more. And that's also good because you have a high uh, load in the summer from air conditioning. So some factors to consider for this particular location is the fact that, as you can see around us, it's a very industrialized part of the port, therefore like there's a large load. And with multiple substations, it makes it a very appealing location to install wind turbines. Some factors that also need to be considered are the fact that we are near some wildlife situations that obviously we can work with to both install the wind turbine and preserve the environmental uh, benefits.